What up, what up, Chris here, and I got a brand new video for you today. In this video, I'm gonna teach you what to do in order to pick up the hottest chicks on a very consistent basis. Now, ultimately, the trick to be able to land girls of this caliber is to set and enforce really, really high standards, and I mean that in a lot of ways, okay? But ultimately, if you want to regularly attract women in demand, you have to become a guy who's in demand, all right? So let's go over the steps. Let's begin. First, what you want to do is present yourself as a guy who is high quality. That means you want to dress well, ideally like a guy who's already getting girls, okay? My recommendation is to hop on Google and search terms like fashion tips for fuckboys and see what they're wearing and start gradually adopting what they do that you also like, okay? Look, you might not like the term fuckboys and you may have heard that you know it's not a good thing to do, but these guys are already gaining female attention to a very large degree and so you want to use what already works that you also like, okay? So look, remember, whether you like it or not, people do judge a book by its cover, so you got to make sure your cover is pretty nice, especially when you're going after a girl who looks great. Chances are she wants a guy who also looks great, and this has way more to do with presentation than it does uh, about genetics, okay? So that applies to your phys physique as well and to your lifestyle as well, so that means hit the gym and get a good living situation, a nice apartment, and so on. Number two, you want to set a standard for the level of hotness that a girl needs to be in order for you to be willing to hook up with her, okay? And the rule should be that she needs to be hot enough for you to hook up with and keep around, okay? And you only want to approach women above that standard, okay? That means fuck approaching all, and that means fuck doing things for the reference experience. You don't need any random type of reference experience. What you need in order to be able to land the top quality chicks regularly is a lot of experience with the women that you want the most and that will only come by spending a lot of time interacting with them, okay? Now the reason why I say that you want to set the standard so high that, you're only w that you have to be willing to sleep with her and also keep her around is to further push the standard, meaning never being a girl that's hot enough just you know for one night, okay? My friend always used to say it, but she's hot enough for one night. That cannot happen. If she does not meet your standard, you're going to know deep down that you're settling and it's going to ruin your self-worth and it's going to take away your demeanor of being a selective guy and you're not going to be able to relate to girls who are selective, all right? So you're not allowed to settle. Now, it's really okay to socialize with all, and I even recommend doing it to learn how to become a guy who's skilled with people in general, but only full-on approach the hot ones. Number three, you want to burn bridges with girls below your true standard. And I know that doesn't sound great, but what that really does mean is if you have a bunch of phone numbers of girls that you are planning to meet up with, and maybe you even have dates already set up with them, and they could really, really like you, but if they don't meet the standard, you wanna text them and you wanna cancel the plans, okay? And yes, you have to text them, and yes, you have to be honest, okay? No, you can't just ghost them, and no, you can't make up a lie and say, oh, you know what, you're moving away, all right? You can't do that if you want the results that we're talking about here. You have to tell them, don't take this the wrong way, but I was doing some thinking and I realized that I'm looking for a girl that's totally different. I wish you the best of luck, all right? Very simple. Now, if you're already seeing a woman who isn't really at your standard, if you were being totally honest with yourself, be honest about it and end it, okay? So sit her down and tell her that you're looking for someone else and tell her that you're not fully you know, looking for her, okay? And that it makes it really hard to appreciate her and she belongs to somebody else, okay? And that even applies to a chick if she's really, really stunning, but she isn't your type personality-wise. You have to end it, and yes, I do know it's hard, and yes, I do know it's uncomfortable, okay? But if you want to land the hottest chicks, you want to end uh, to, to land the women that are your type, you have to be willing to look everyone else in the eye who is not your type and be able to think and be honest with yourself and say no, all right? You need to be able to learn being uh, comfortable and uh, unapologetic about enforcing your standards even if it's not comfortable. And if you can't do that, you won't be able to look 
the girl in the eye with the same effect as you tell her that you really like her and you're not looking for every type of girl, you're looking for a very particular type of girl, okay? It's the only way it's gonna sound authentic, okay? And it's also the only way you're gonna be ready for this next step, which is step number four. Step number four is honest communication. By following step two, you learn how to relate to studying women in general because you, you spend so much time with them. By following step number three, you learn on a very deep emotional level what it means to be a guy who doesn't settle and who's a selector who's looking for a very particular kind of girl. Now in step four, you're gonna bring it all together through honest communication, and now when you speak to these hotter women, you're gonna know how to relate to them, and you're going to know how to communicate that you're a selective kind of guy who's looking for a very particular kind of girl. And she's gonna feel your authenticity now. So when you tell her that she's gorgeous, now she's going to believe it. And now it's going to mean something, whereas in the past it didn't mean anything because she knows you're a selective kind of guy, okay? And she's gonna feel it even more because you're so willing to walk away from anything that you don't want. So when she does things that you won't tolerate as a guy, you were willing to cut it off and you're going to feel really comfortable calling them out and she's gonna feel really comfortable about meeting your standard, okay? So now she's going to feel your boundaries and now she's gonna feel your standard at every level and now she's not only gonna respect them, but she's gonna be very proud to meet them, okay? So if you like this video, you know, I highly recommend subscribing so that this way you can be up to date when they come out. I also recommend leaving comments because it allows me to know what I need to do better for the next one as well as what questions you might have. And make sure to go to the link in the description so you, that you can be a part of the free training that I'm giving out to help you pull girls more consistently. What you got to do is just click on the link, enter your email, and then when the video is ready, it will be sent out to your email, okay? I will see you in the next one.